screw it, whatever. Okay. Welcome to the All Things Food Podcast, where we talk about all things related to the wonderful world of food. Today's topic, this podcast topic, is the battle of the supermarket. Whole Foods versus Mariano's, which is better? Um, here's the thing. I lived in Korea for seven years, and when I was there, something happened in the whole supermarket game. Uh, Dominic's, I guess, around that time or before, went out of business. Uh, Jewel Osco, uh, for me, it'll always be Jewel, kind of faded into the background. It's still around. There's still plenty of locations here in Chicago. Um, but a few quote unquote newcomers came up. Um, Whole Foods exploded. I mean, it was there before, but suddenly it's like everywhere. Uh, and Mariano's popped up out of nowhere, at least for me. You know, you know I would come back to Chicago uh, every couple of years from Korea. So uh, today I'm just going to talk about the two chains uh, and see which one comes out on top. Uh, I have a, a few different categories that I thought of, but I haven't really broken it down. So, you know, what I have here on my laptop is just the four categories that I could think of to judge a supermarket. And, you know, I'll just give my thoughts. Um, I'll be honest, I kind of do have, have, a, have a preference. Oh, here's the thing. No, no, no. It's Whole Foods versus Mariano's versus Trader Joe's. At first, I was going to just throw this as like a surprise winner or surprise contender after one of them was knocked out. But you know what? No, let's just put that into, uh, into the mix just right out, the, right out of the gate because uh, Trader Joe's has to, has to kind of be in that conversation. Yes. Okay, so what, would I, what are the four categories that I thought of? Um, I thought of selection. Like, you know, what, what is available? Um, if you go to a supermarket and there's nothing there, then it doesn't succeed as a supermarket. So the selection, what products do they have available? Next is value. Um, you know, for a can of Coke, not that I did any price checks or anything. The thing about this podcast is that it's just me sharing my passion and my ideas about food, but I neither have the time nor the inclination to do a lot of research just because then I would never make anything. So screw it. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you're not going to find any real, you know, metrics here on this podcast, but value. Okay. So in general, what is my feel when I go to a place, um, you know, do I feel like I'm getting, you know, the best bang for my buck? Uh, so selection value, third category is service, okay, in terms of the, the, uh, just the workers in general, uh, if you have asshole workers, then screw that, I'm not going back. And lastly, just the overall experience of the market, of the supermarket. So, um, again, why do I have my computer out? It's because I have no script. I'm just kind of making up as I go along and I'm keeping track as I type. So if you guys are listening to the audio only version, I apologize for, you know, this noise. That's just me typing on my computer. So that's what it is. Okay, so selection. Um, selection, Whole Foods. Let's start off with Whole Foods. They're pretty big. I think they're bigger than Mariano's. I'm not sure. Let's look up Whole Foods. Whole Foods Square, square footage. Actually, I am genuinely curious about this. Okay, 40,000 gross square footage. Let's do Mariano's square footage. I know that there are like different like financial documents that would reveal this, but I'm not gonna look that up. Oh, oh, smack. Ah. Well, there's a 90,000 square foot supermarket 26 to 130 okay so i mean and th that's the feeling i got is i wasn't really sure between whole foods and, and mariano's um which one was bigger in terms of size uh let's call them a wash let's call them tied um it i, I feel like they're both basically kind of the same size so you know i mean that's just square footage Trader joe's obviously is tiny 
compared to these guys. I mean, they're basically like, you know, the size of, a, I don't know, just like of a small restaurant almost, you know, or, or I don't know what it is. But um, obviously, Whole Foods and Marianas are giants compared to Trader Joe's. Um, but let's narrow down in terms of product selection. I was at Mariano's uh, Whole Foods the other day. Uh, I was at the Whole Foods on Belmont and Ashland, I think. And um, I was there with my wife, and we were, we were hungry, and we just wanted to get some just basic stuff. And we were walking around, and uh, we were both just really confused on what to get, just because we couldn't find anything that we really wanted. Um, it's all this, you know, okay, so I'm all for organic, and I understand and I agree with this idea that uh, we have too many pesticides in our food and, and um, you know, we need to eat healthy, we need to be green conscious, all of that, I'm, I'm down, I'm game for that, that's totally cool, but, you know, when, when you're charging like $5 for a bag of carrots or something, I think it's just kind of ridiculous. So we were just like, look at these, these items all across the board, really, and we would just be like, what the fuck? Like, how can we buy this? Like, I can't justify this. And, and, and so even though Whole Foods is great, it's huge. Um, and actually they do sell um, this hot sauce that I really like, the Yellowbird hot sauce habanero. It's a really great neutral heat. Um, in general, we had, we, uh, bottom, bottom line is we, we had trouble finding items we actually wanted to purchase. Um, that, you know, and again, even aside from the price, because that's, that's for later, that's value, but for the selection, we're just like, I don't know what the fuck this is, or like, why should I buy this? You know, why do I need some, you know, acai berry smoothie barbecue sauce or something? And I'm just making it up. There's no such thing as an acai berry smoothie barbecue sauce. Um, although a blueberry barbecue sauce sounds kind of interesting, but gross, but kind of interesting. I'd love to try that. But um, yeah, I don't know. It, it, at Whole Foods, I just have a hard time finding items I feel justified in purchasing. Uh, Mariano's, it's a uh, big selection, obviously. Um, some smaller stores, some larger stores. But uh, I feel like the selection was, was pretty solid. I mean, in terms of uh, some unique products. Let's see, when was my last visit to Mariano's? It was a few weeks ago. Um, their hot, I feel like their hot sauce game is really weak though. I love hot sauce and whole, actually Whole Foods does do better than uh, Mariano's in terms of the hot sauce department. So maybe it depends on the department, um, but Mariano's just has just of those, more of those normal regular ingredients that I would just be more interested in, in purchasing. Um, so it's, you know, if I had to choose between Whole Foods and Mariano's, I'm gonna go with Mariano's pretty much every day of the week. I don't know when the next time I'm I'm gonna to go to Whole Foods because I just I just I was, I was it was just so bizarre to just be walking around this huge ass department you know supermarket and just being like, what the fuck am I gonna buy right now? Like we were hungry, we were both hungry. Um, one way that Whole Foods does crush Mariano's is the food court. Uh, Mariano's, God, there used to be a Mariano's at my previous place. Uh, just I moved like a month ago to this current location. And around my old place, there was a Mariano's. We'd go there. It was like a five, ten minute walk. So we'd go there a lot. And every single time I would go eat something at the, you know, prepared food area. Again, I'll just call it the food court. Um, I would always be disappointed. Every single time I would just be like, <sighs> it looked good, but uh, you know what I mean? So um, Whole Foods, we, I had their sushi the other day, and it was actually pretty decent. Um, and just the, the quality of, of Whole Foods stuff, it's a little bit pricier, but you know what? The quality is definitely higher than Mariano's. Um, so selection, but at the end of the day, if I'm going to go shopping for food, I'm going there to buy you know, ingredients more than going out for a bite. So I would choose Mariano's over Whole Foods. Trader Joe's is kind of an interesting, kind of an interesting um, animal because it's so freaking tiny, but 
And this is the weird thing is that, and this is the really crucial thing is that I've, I, don't, I don't think I've ever been disappointed by a product from Trader Joe's. That's not true. No, uh, there was one sauce. I'm big into sauces. There was one sauce that I found was like really too sickly sweet. Some like, maybe it was some Asian barbecue sauce. I think it was the sriracha. Was it the, the sriracha barbecue? Maybe. But regardless, um, there's just like just about everything at Trader Joe's is really tasty. Um, now again, I, I keep wanting to go back to value. Uh, and it is great value. Um, you know, those Trader Joe's has those chocolate bars that you can buy for like two, three, I don't know, three dollars for like this pure, you know, good sized chocolate bar. Yeah. We have those uh, little um, chocolate covered almonds. Those are awesome. Trader Joe's hummus is really good. Um, their produce is always excellent. Mariano's produce, it might depend on the location because the Mariano's and my, that I went to a lot, I mean, it wasn't in a bad neighborhood by any means, but the produce was consistently like, meh. I feel like Whole Foods might have Trader Joe's in the, in the it might have um, Mariano's in the produce department as well. But Trader Joe's, all their stuff is really good. All their stuff, uh, you know, does not disappoint. Um, I can't, yeah. I was there for, we bought some watermelons a few weeks ago, and we, we actually found, like, ripe watermelons. The way you can um, tell that a watermelon is ripe, and I know this because I went to uh, the University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, and that's where... It's just surrounded by corn and farmers, and I met a couple of farmers at, at the market, and they told us how to choose ripe watermelons. Is that you look for that white spot on the watermelon. The more white, the more off it is from green, the better it is, because that means it's been allowed to sit on the ground and actually ripen and develop flavor and sweetness. Uh, bonus points if there's a withered uh, stem. If it's too green, then again, that means that it was plucked early, so it wasn't allowed to develop on the vine. Anyway, I found more often than not, I found a lot of great watermelons at Trader Joe's, even more so, I feel like, than the other two. Um, so for me, it's not even about Whole Foods for selection. It's because, I'm not, again, I'm not going to buy their weird shit, some of which I'm sure are delicious, and if I had, like, triple quadruple my income then maybe i'll just experiment and buy stuff um but Mariano's and trader joe's um which one do i prefer i prefer trader joe's i prefer going there because whatever i get it's gonna be good and it's not gonna be too outrageously expensive but in real life practicality which one would i rather have near me um for the breadth of product because um, you know, what if I need something else, then I might have to go with Mariano's. So I feel like for me, Mariano's and Trader Joe's is kind of a tie. Personal preference for Trader Joe's, but in practical function, um, Mariano's. If you have Mariano's and Trader Joe's around you, which like I do, then you're in a pretty good spot. Value. Let's talk about value. Um, again, Whole Foods out of the question absolutely out of the fucking question because um, all of their shit is just so expensive and uh, I remember god when was this let's look at this, this up here whole foods asparagus water yes you see there you go okay so they used to in 2015 they removed it they used to sell three stalks of asparagus in water in a jar for six fucking dollars, all right? What the hell, right? Like, like what the hell? It, that's just a big fuck you to the consumer. Now, well, they removed it. Yeah, but what's the ethos behind that? What brings a company to market shit like that? Um, again, it's three, three years ago, but you know, Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me, right? So um, it, it, that just kind of, I'm always, uh, actually, to be honest, I am always like that whole asparagus water thing 
is always in the back of my mind when I go to Whole Foods. But again, just my most recent experience, last week, walking around Whole Foods, like, what are we gonna buy? I don't know. Like, what is this jar of mayonnaise? Oh my God, are you kidding me? Like $5 for a jar. You know, and oh, but it's made with better ingredients. But you know what? Like, in America, with the amount of, you know, uh, like, the amount of produce that we create it should not be that expensive. Or let's put it another way, you know your, let's say you make, you know, a mayonnaise with like premium organic uh, grass fed chickens and first pressed olive oil, you know, from a specific town in Italy. And that's why the mayo is $7. Well, guess what? I don't need that for my fucking mayonnaise. So, you know, you can take that and leave it on the shelf because I ain't gonna buy it. So, you know, again, I, I don't know, for, for some people, and I would love to hear the comments um, if you're watching this on YouTube, like, what do you think about the value, you know, of spending $7? Or, and I, I, I'm actually trying, totally making this up, but I, I don't think it's too out of the, too out of the um, question for this to happen, right? where you're being charged an outrageous amount for something that's just kind of just real, a really basic staple product in, in the pantry. So Whole Foods, no, it's not gonna happen. Um, Mariano's versus Trader Joe's. I gotta give this one to Trader Joe's because their shit is like really good. It's like really good. And, and, and um, God, let me think of an example here. I mean, let's just say the dried pasta, you know, those boxes. And I bought a box. Again, I'm not doing any research. Again, I'm not taking notes. I'm not, you know, if this was a better show, if, if, if I had more time, if I had more ability to research, I would put up price ratios, you know, to the ounce, uh, taking into account quality and all that. But, you know, I, I bought a box of pasta from, from Trader Joe's for like $2.50 or whatever. And, and it was like better than average quality pasta compared to like, you know, Mary Allen's, again, like I said before, Mary Allen's has more of the standard basic shit that you'd find at a regular supermarket. Um, but the value, like maybe Trader Joe's was, you know, 50 cents more expensive or something. It's not, it's nothing outrageous. Um, I would totally pay that extra, extra little bit for that bump in quality. So maybe I'm contradicting myself a little bit, but you know, there is a point where yeah, you know, maybe not a $7 jar of mayo, but maybe a $3 jar of mayo as opposed to a $250 jar of mayo if that mayo is noticeably better. And I think that's where Trader Joe's fits in. It fits in that place where it's like smaller choices, a little bit more expensive, but damn, that's some good product. Versus again, Mariano's, great stuff. Um, probably more expensive than, oh, I almost guaranteed more expensive than uh, Jewel or wherever your local standard, you know, old school supermarket is. But, you know, uh, it, so it has that, it has, it's a little more expensive and it's not bad, but it's just, um, actually, honestly, like, going back to the selection, Trader Joe's products kind of excite me. And I know that sounds really stupid. Um, and by the way, this, there's, this is my, my first fucking taping, so, I don't have any relationship with any of these supermarkets, but you know, Mariano's is great. Uh, Trader Joe's, I actually get like, I'm like, oh, cool, like Trader Joe's cookies. If I see Trader Joe's cookies, I'm guessing that those cookies are gonna be pretty good. So value, I would have to give it. Um, if selection, I don't even know what, what I gave, who I gave selection to. I think I gave selection to Mariano's, right? Because Trader Joe's is my personal preference, but in practical function, I'll have to give Mariano's the selection, but for Trader Joe's, I'll have to definitely give the value. Let's talk about service. Service, um, you know, the employees. Uh, what have my general experiences been at these different places? Uh, for me, there's one supermarket that's automatically off the table, and that is Mariano's. I've had some shitty customer service experiences at Mariano's. One time a, a cashier uh, double scanned my item and then I didn't realize it until after they were all done and I was like, wait a minute. And I'm just looking at the list, I'm like, did you double 
double, uh, you know, price me double whatever me on this bag of chips. And then they look and they're like, and they just gave me my receipt and said, go to the customer service. They didn't even apologize. They were just like, go to customer service. And I'm like, wait. And I was at first, I was so like, they didn't, I was, they were so ambiguous. I wasn't sure if they were acknowledging that um, they had made a mistake. I was like, wait a minute. So like, do I get my refund or what's going on? Uh, and so I went to customer service. I'm like, oh, you know, yeah, they just double, you know, check me or double scan me for this item. Again, no apology, just, and they just process my refund. And, you know, it's not that big of, I mean, it's not a big deal and it's not a lot of money, but it's kind of the principle of it of like, at least just say, oh, sorry about that. And then I would say, oh, no worries. You know, just, just it's just something nice that people do, right? So um, that didn't happen. I was just like, but did I do something wrong? Like, I don't know. And, and that's just one example. Um, that happened a few months ago. Um, but I was like, fuck this. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Um, and I've had just had a lot of like bad experiences at Mariano's where just the workers didn't give a shit. Um, just, you know, going up to, going up to the line and just, you know, just, I don't know, just like little pleasantries, man. Just like say hi, just, you know, and so, you know, and then they're kind of doing their thing. I guess I am judgmental, but whatever, dude. I mean, you're a fucking business. Just smile, say hi. I don't know, right? Um, so Mariano's, I like whenever I think about Mariano's, I, I think of shitty service. Like I said, I have no relationship to any of these supermarkets. Okay, so it goes to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. I'm, I'm curious if you're watching this. Which one, which one would you choose? To me, um, at first I was like, oh, that's, that's like a, you know, a toss up. But then I actually thought about my experiences. Again, this is based on my personal experiences with these supermarkets. And for me, um, there's clearly one winner in the service department. Um, now Whole Foods, um, they are, you know, I don't think I've ever met a rude, I've actually never met, I think, a rude worker at any Whole Foods. Uh, so I think overall they're like solid. I think it's definitely an upscale place, you know. So there, I don't think that you're allowed to be an asshole to customers. Versus I think some other supermarkets they wouldn't really necessarily care as much. Um, but it's also, and now this is kind of my own like middle class, lower middle class bias, where it's like I just feel like, like I don't know, like this, like this, like, like uh, you know. Um, I don't know. I just a little bit of a standoffish kind of attitude. And again, I think it's what well, it's like. It's not like the workers are upper middle class, you know, people, right? But at the same time, I just feel like the atmosphere is a little kind of frou frou for me. And I think it translates a little bit into the service. Again, not that I've ever had a bad experience with service at Whole Foods, but then you think about Trader Joe's. So Whole Foods, okay, it's good, but Trader Joe's, man, every single one of those motherfuckers are like nice like nice and enthusiastic. Sometimes a little too enthusiastic, sometimes a little too nice, sometimes a little too happy, but I'll take that any day of the week uh, over shitty service or, you know, kind of a, a vague aloofness, which I know is an unfair categorization, but so be it. Trey Joe's, man, those guys, they, they're so fucking friendly, uh, so nice, um, you know, just, just chatting and, and, and I, okay, the, the, the ringing the bell thing kind of annoys me, but I appreciate that it's there and I understand why it's there. And it's like, it's, like, it's nice, it's nice. Um, I've had some, some actually lovely conversations with some Trader Joe's employees. You know, I'm not, I hope I'm not one of those people. I don't think I'm one of those people that just like takes up employees times, but you know, it's like, oh, hey, I was like, oh, oh, this, this lemonade's good. Oh yeah, and just, just, you know, shooting the shit a little bit. And like, oh yeah, that's good. And you know, I, I've actually, there's this one guy I met, he was actually an author. Um, and, and he, and he works either part-time or full-time to supplement his income at Trader Joe's. And I was like, I was like, oh, that's so freaking cool. Like, like you're an author and you're working here. And like, I was like, Jesus, like, like we just had a lovely conversation about, I think prohibition Chicago. Uh, and it's just like, it's cool. I don't know. I've, I've had good experiences with Trader Joe's. So, uh, service Trader Joe's, um, 
definitely better than certainly Mariano's and I'll prefer them over Whole Foods even though I've had no bad experiences with Whole Foods. I'm writing, I'm writing them down right now, excuse me. That's gonna sound awesome on the audio. Okay, uh, lastly is experience, overall experience when you're shopping there. Aside from the bad selection or the weird selection for me at Whole Foods, aside from the minimal selection at Trader Joe's, just overall, how is the experience? Um, again, um, one supermarket to me is automatically kicked off, and that is uh, uh, Mariano's. Mariano's feels very um, middle of the road, very, uh, I don't know, like, it, it, it does feel very mundane of an experience compared to uh, Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. Whole Foods, I will say, man, they got that experience down. I mean, when you go there, you feel like you're in a location. You know, you're not in a supermarket, you're not in a store, you are in a location. And I feel like they have that experience thing nailed down. Um, one small thing that I enjoy, that I appreciate, is that they do have these little carts, these little escalators for the carts, when you go up. And so when you go up to the um, parking lot, if it's on the garage, uh, if it's on the roof, um, it's nice because it's just like, you know, park your little thing up the little escalator thingy, and then you just ride the escalator along with your, with your cart, and that's nice. I don't know, it's part of the experience, and I appreciate that. Um, and let's see, I'm thinking about that. Their displays, their displays are beautiful. Whole Foods is great. Uh, Trader Joe's is a very, very, very different experience um, because it, the, the, the form is so different. But I'm going to have to go with a tie on this one. I think um, Trader Joe's are so small, but um, it's the, the layout is the same for all the stores, so I understand the flow of the different stores, the produce on the left, going up. Um, you know, the grain, you got the grains and the dried stuff, and then you got the frozen stuff with all the chocolates and cookies and goodies up top, and then at the end you have the booze and the chips and stuff like that. I appreciate that. You know, it's, it's, it's predictable and it's comfortable, and you can just get what you want. And again, like I said before, I really enjoy all the products, so it's kind of an overall pleasant experience. So, Battle of the Supermarket, I think it is very clear from my personal opinion because this whole thing is an opinion. Um, the winner of the Battle of the Supermarkets is Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is, I guess, and I'm, again, it's kind of weird because I didn't even fully realize it until I did this little therapy session uh, that Trader Joe's is my favorite supermarket, uh, way above Whole Foods um, and above Mariano's, even though I might spend more money at Mariano's. I'm not actually really sure but those two definitely get my most of my dollars for in terms of groceries. Uh, how about you? I would love to hear from your perspective. Um, out of those three Whole Foods, Mariano's, Trader Joe's, what is your favorite supermarket? What do you think is important in a supermarket? I mean, I know there's so many things in terms of lighting and sound and smells and layouts and, and all sorts of stuff, you know, uh, the checkout counter and all these things that I didn't talk about at all. I'm just kind of shooting from the hip. What do you think is the most important in a supermarket? What have been some of your experiences? Oh, by the way, one of my favorite experiences growing up, no, not growing up, this is, I was an adult at this time, technically. Uh, one of my favorite experiences when I was a young adult uh, was going to Jewel at like 2 a.m. and since it's a 24 hour um, supermarket, just wandering the aisles, just walking up and down the aisles. Um, kind of like window shopping for food because I wanted to eat all this stuff and I was really hungry, but you know, I couldn't either, it was too expensive or I just could not eat all the food that I wanted to at that moment. And um, just wandering the aisle. Like I would do like multiple laps within the supermarket and just say like, hey, look, there's there's Encore lasagna. Ah, still $2.99 for two pounds of lasagna. Awesome. Ah, the frozen pizzas are on sale. Ah, look at the ice cream. Ah, the steaks. Oh, the steaks look awesome. And just wandering around, just looking at all the goodness. So I guess that's why I love supermarkets. All right. So leave your comments. Uh, 
what do you like? What do you look for in a supermarket? Take care. Thanks for listening and talk to you later.